Hello and welcome to another Nick A video. I'm going to be performing a review on the School of Lock event. Don't worry, I won't be just slapping a number at the end like some other places do. I will be judging this event a different way since it is not meant to be a huge event. Something like Overzone or the recent Nier collab. I will be reviewing it based on these categories. Presentation, music, contents, character designs, and event story. Please leave a like and a sub and I hope you enjoy the video. Upon entering the event, you see all the students line up like they're gonna take a picture, and then all of a sudden they have X's in front of their face, pretty much just hinting of what's to come in this story. I wish they would also include the render of all the students without the X's on, them, on their faces, since they actually do have them on the easy mode story, like towards the top. They actually do have that picture without the X's on them. I think they should just release this to the public, but whatever. Besides that, the main characters are presented front and center with the light hitting on them without a care in the world. And unfortunately, Marciana is the only one that knows the truth about this school, which we will get into a little bit later. Now for the music. This event has only one track because it is not a huge event. A huge event that I'm referencing would be something that actually has a map, something you could explore, interact. This whole event's interaction is through just the menu that you see as soon as you enter the event. Um, that's it. There's nothing else special. So since it's not as an elaborate as an event, um, it's not to have that, that much music attached to it. I was not expecting this type of theme for the school. I mean, I was expecting something more uh, soft, more relaxing, you know, but they, they made it something much more than I, than I thought it would be. I enjoyed it. Um, I'll go ahead and just play a little bit of that music now. So the content is the standard contents of all the events so far. So it will be a challenge, stages, missions, a shop, story events, which is two different sets of story events. And each of the story events are 12 stages, which the boss of the challenge stage is the train and it's the same reward. So you get credit and battle data at the start and then eventually you do get core dust. So hopefully you completed all those. And for the missions, it's just the standard event currency that you get. The only thing they did different was that you're able to obtain this roll of film. And with this film, you were able to go to the event archives and redeem it for a previous event. I really wish they did not do this system. So going by this standard on the next event, Dazzling Pearl, we should be getting another film. And hopefully they do put some more event archive soon. The shop is the standard stuff. So you do have those extra event tries, a, bu a bunch of manufacturer labels, uh, tickets, both regular and advanced, just the standard stuff pretty much. And for the story events, just like I always said, it's uh, 12 stages per mode with the reward boost Nick Ace uh, being shown. All right, now it's time for character design. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a look at Marciana here. I do like how she looked here. I mean, she has a very, very nice design. She's showing a lot of tummy. And she has that tactical uh, belly ring there as well. And also she does have that PS5 in the background for some reason. But I think one of the things that actually surprised everybody is by her shooting pose. I mean, damn, I did not expect it to be that big. <laughs> um, either way, it, it is super lo lovely. I mean, even though she does not smile a lot during her pose or even during the story, I mean, hell, she loves shooting no problem. And she just has a big old cheeser right there. I think she's smiling more at you than actually just killing the rapture, to tell you honestly. Even though she does sound very stern throughout her voice lines, you know, she she sounds very strict. She always has work on her mind, creating lessons, plans, and all that. She really does care for her students. She really wants them to succeed. And once we get to the story portion, uh, you're going to want to see why. All right, now for the story. To give a summary of the events, the commander received an invitation to come to the school and be a test examiner. Since this is a private and exclusive school, only the commander can go alone. 
While this is going on, another Nikki at the school is creating her own plan. You help the students however you can, and you start learning more about the school until you discover the truth. The real purpose of the school, where pretty much these Nikkeis are guinea pigs, and what happens to them when they do not graduate. Learning how Marciana has been trying to help as many students as she can, while also realizing that every time a student fails, brings them closer to the abyss, with her main objective being to bring down the school and possibly Ether. This event was mostly about Marciana and the girls, so the commander really just did what he was invited to do and split. <laughs> I know Marciana seems cold and distant. She was doing it, I think, so she wouldn't get too attached to her students. She has the utmost care for her students and really wants them to succeed. Being a cog to not only the education system, but as a Nikkei herself, she ultimately feels powerless to stop what is to come and is hoping to gain enough allies and knowledge to turn the tides. It is unknown what will happen to everyone involved at the school if Marciana's dreams do come true, but I do know this. Whatever happens will not be good for anyone involved, especially if any of you have read the lore of this game and see what happens to those that mess with the central government. Now for my final thoughts on this event. The event itself was not that bad. It is obviously a filler event, and despite Zwe and Ayn being pretty present in the event, their banners were not present. Even some of the bonus Nikkeis didn't make sense either. The worst part is that Terceta didn't even have a character model. They just had to use a regular mass-produced Nikkei, Soldier FA, and make it convenient as to have her clothes. Once finding out the truth, I really feel for Marciana, being in a system that you have no control over and her being the judge of these future Nikkei's fate is a lot to bear. Please tell me your thoughts on this event, I would like to know. Alright, that's about it. I'm Scrublord and I hope to see you again.